So, just wanted to get this on the video. Uh, we've done this before. In fact, uh, if you go way back, <laughs> I think this was my first video on the uh, on the That Cybersecurity Guy channel. Because uh, we were coming here to do Marshall Swamp. And uh, I was... Uh, uh, I was planning a really aggressive trip and uh, even developed a heat rash and everything else. Uh, so you say, you know, well, why are you making another video about a hike that you've already done? Um, you know, basically, I want to see what the trail looks like. Uh, we've had a lot of dry weather uh, for this time of the year. And, you know, my, my videos are about helping people in Central Florida so that they can get out and experience uh, places to go. I know that... Uh, you know, the bridges are, are starting to fall down, and uh, I'm just going to go down in here about a, I don't know, maybe an hour, and then I uh, just turn around and come back. I just want to see what the condition of the trail is. Um, so we're we're just going to get a get a hike in. Um, this is the Marshall Swamp section of the uh, Florida Trail. <clears throat> you know, and, uh, you know, at some point I do have to do some community service. I might... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to try to get with my yard service, and we're going to try to cut our way from uh, 314 all the way up to um, 40. That's the next section of the Florida Trail that I have not hiked yet. Uh, I, I've, been, I've been warned, you know, don't go back in there by yourself, but I figure I'll, I'll, I'll be loaded for bear. I'll have uh, my bear spray, and, you know, and especially with that cutter making a lot of noise. I, you know, I've been told there's actual panthers. <laughs> <laughs> that are back in there, you know. Uh, so that, you know, I, I, you know, I haven't heard of any a panther ever attacking anybody. I, you know, I don't know. What you can see, look at here. Looks like they've they've uh, they've uh, done maintenance on this trail. It's looking good. Um, so let's just get back in here and see what we get. Um, I'm going to talk about you know some stuff on this video, but let's wait till we got something else to look at besides the beginning of the trail here, and uh, and then because I'm going to do a little little politicking on this video so I'm warning you ahead of time it's not just a hiking video because this is a hike we've already done I mainly I'm just back here to see the condition of the trail so that people in the area uh, if they want to hike it uh, I have a feeling that it's going to be in an excellent shape uh, a lot of dry weather we've had so let's just get going so just real quick let's get a quick uh, trail video um, if you go up, uh, you know, from, from the parking area and come in the normal way on the trail, which is what we did, you would hike down that, extremely well maintained, uh, very nice, uh, no, no spiders, uh, but you can always hike this way and that'll just take you up to a, a road. And, uh, and so we're just gonna continue on and you know, it's, uh, they've been back here. This is uh, so far so good. It's, uh, it's in extremely good shape. Um, and boy, I tell you, this is a nice hike now. I, uh, in my packing, no, I just brought the bear spray. Now I have, this is one of the only trails that I've ever been on that I actually saw a bear. Uh, and he was off in a distance, don't get me wrong. And uh, I turned around, <laughs> you know. So I, you know, I've been hiking around in the woods here in Florida for the last couple of years, you know. And uh, so this this trail, you know, you, you could, you could encounter a bear. I mean, it is a swamp. And uh, so they are back here for sure. and. And that's why I just brought the bear spray and I uh, don't even have a walking stick with me. I, you know, I just don't expect to see anything. I think that uh, you looks to me like people have been through here. Uh, like I said, this is a, this an absolute gorgeous section of the Florida Trail. I, you know, you can't do it in the rainy season. It's a, uh, it's a swamp, you know, and let's, let's see the condition of the bridges. They, hell, they might even be out, you know, so we'll see when we get there. So this, this is what I'm talking about, you know, I mean, like I said, you're just hiking through a swamp, but uh, this was all washed out, and uh, you can tell this is all fresh. They've brought in uh, this, uh, well, I guess sand or dirt or whatever you want to call it. You know, it's kind of a gravelly uh, dirt, and they filled these holes in. These were actual uh, places where the trail had washed out. Um, so this is, uh, this is looking good. I think that this trail... If you, uh, by the way, if you got a mountain bike, I forgot about that. Uh, in fact, I want to take my bike, mountain bike back here. You can see that mountain biking is allowed on this section of the Florida Trail. And uh, this would be a hell of a fun uh, mountain bike ride. Uh, in fact, I just uh, 
you know, usually I don't see anybody, but I actually saw a person up here. So there is uh, other people out hiking today. Uh, the trail is in extremely great shape. Uh, not even a not even a wet area. We're going to come up on a bridge here shortly. Let's see what the condition of the bridge is. We'll get that on the video. So I want to get this on the video. See this little sign? It's just leaning up against a tree at this point. It says service road. And that's the service road there. And you can see that there's a tree down on it. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's about uh, entering virgin territory. That's where I saw the bear, actually, was going down that service road. And I never hiked it. I turned around. And I uh, see right here, this is where the trail actually makes a, a turn. Uh, and let's just go up here and get the condition of the bridge. But I'm going to... I'm going to get some virgin territory on the video today. We're going to go down this service road and just see where it goes. You know, I've hiked uh, the Marshall Swamp. We don't, we don't need to hike it. I just wanted to see what the condition was and it looks fantastic so far. I always thought this was a nice touch. You know, you do have a picnic table right here. Uh, so that if you wanted to just come back here and sit in the swamp <laughs> and uh, have a have a picnic now there's no you know the time of the year there's no bugs out you know i'm not i'm not getting eaten by mosquitoes or anything and uh, like i said i've already seen uh, some people so if there were any spider webs uh, they've already knocked them down let's just get the uh, the bridge on the video and then let's go into some virgin territory and hike down that service road i've always well here's the bridge right here let's just keep the video going so let's see what it looks like okay so uh and this is this is what i was seeing the last time i was here is you know they, these are in need of some maintenance you can see that the uh the railing is off up there uh, let's just get up on it but it's still nice nice and sturdy uh well here they did they did replace see those boards right there that was uh that was completely broken out the last time i was here so they've uh they've kind of made some repair to it uh okay let's go let's go back now and hit that service road you can see right here you know uh maybe at some point they'll get some get some funding because uh, most of this is all volunteer work but uh look at here they uh they they've cut that uh, recently that was probably across the trail um but let's go let's go hit that service road you know i always wonder about the and these things <laughs> always got to get the strange stuff on the video you know that <clears throat> this they call this a service road so if it's a service road you'd think that they would have it i mean no vehicle's going to get through here unless you want well i guess you know it depends on if it's a bulldozer or not uh but certainly not uh an adv you know to get past that tree and unless they're going to bring a saw back in here um but uh you know if this is a service road you think that uh, it would be maintained somewhat. I mean, it's a pretty easy hike. Uh, you can see what I'm seeing. Uh, like I said, we we are in virgin territory, people. Uh, hopefully, maybe we'll see another bear. You never know from a distance. <laughs> Don't want up close and personal. That's for dog on shore. Uh, but uh, let's uh, let's hopefully uh, keep keep an eyeball peeled. Uh, you know, who knows where the service road goes? I've never. I've never hiked it before, so uh, this is pretty cool. I always love new hikes, you know, and uh, I wonder, you know, I'm wondering where this could possibly come out, maybe into like a, a neighborhood of some sort, you know. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure, no way, no way I'm going to see anybody uh, today other than that one person that was on the trail from a distance uh, on this service road because uh, most people just stick to the main trail and I don't like to go off grid like I do. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I did tell you I was going to get to politicking just a little bit on this video. I tell you what, I at the stupid uh, Liz Cheney and the January 6th commission, I mean, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Nobody even had a damn gun. <laughs> they, keep, they keep wanting to say it was an insurrection. Those 700, there's like 700 people in jail still, you know, and... Uh, Mainly, you know, most of them just walked into the Capitol. And, of course, you've got that that one guy. Uh, he's he's out. Everybody called him a Fed, you know, at the uh, at the protest. And uh, he's not in jail. So, And he was one of the main instigators. They got him on video all over the place, you know, telling people, you know, you need to enter the Capitol. And, uh, of course, a lot of the, uh, the MAGA people were calling him out, saying, Fed, 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 Fed. You know, so uh, why isn't that guy in jail? 
you know what's going on you know I'm talking. and of course you know they had a, a day of silence you know uh, Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats we're gonna be silent for a bit to talk about the worst thing that ever happened to the country you know the only person that died you know I hope you understand was Angela Babbitt a, a veteran from the Air Force you know the rest of the people died of natural causes there was like four others I think besides her she was the only one shot you know and uh, I you know if, if, if when you look at 9-11 and 3,000 people died, you know, that's a, that's a terrorist event, you know. If you look at uh, uh, Pearl Harbor, that was huge, you know. Uh, boy, I tell you, I, I didn't bring my hiking shoes. You might want hiking shoes on this trail. Anyway, that's, a, that's all my politicking for this video. But you can see it's uh, hiking the service road is quite beautiful. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's in NSX. It's not in like total disrepair. Oh, here we go. We're just coming up to a gate. Uh, so this may this may end the virgin territory on the hike. And uh, basically, what I'm going to do at this point is just go back to the um, the trail, and uh, we'll go um, we'll go up to the next bridge and see what it looks like. Uh, so far, so good. You know, this is uh, and see once again. I mean, you know, looks like that gate hasn't been opened in quite some time i don't know maybe they're just going to let the service road grow in here uh who knows all right let's let's uh let's get back in uh, the next clip will be the second bridge i'm going to turn i'm going to at least go all the way up here just to see what i can see on the other side of the gate and uh you know where well, you can see that you know they haven't uh, they haven't been back here trimming or anything you know um and that's why you know it's good to have i got i got my sweats on so with long pants uh but i don't see where a vehicle could, could have come through here i guess you know we could if we really want to go off grid is to go through there because you can see on the other side of the fence look at that you know let's see if we can get over there i'm going to give it a try So just wanted to show you what I'm hiking through here. It's getting kind of muddy. Got to be careful of snakes. Uh, so there's is a kind of a, well, I guess imagine at some point this was kind of a road, but there is a, there is a fence here and, uh, and they have a, a sign. I'm not going to go any further. Uh, it says no trespassing, hunting or fishing. Violators is prosecuted under the uh, penalty of law. So, uh, we can't uh, we can't continue down the service road any further. That, but that's what it looks like right there. It looks like somebody's been in there cutting it. I don't know. Seems kind of weird. But uh, you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to be out here unless you were bushwhacking. And uh, I'm not equipped for that today. I was just trying to get in a hike. I just wanted to see if we could continue down that uh, down that road. I mean that would have been that would have been a fun hike just to see where that goes. And, uh, oh well, I'm certainly not going to hop the fence. You know, I'm going to respect their, uh, their um, no trespassing sign. So let's get back to the second bridge and uh, see what it looks like. Uh, we'll just get through here. Uh, you know, once again, I mean, to, to get, get off trail like this, like I said, you got to be careful of snakes. I had to beat down a cobweb coming through here. It was kind of crazy. Uh, but uh, that's all right. Uh, you know, I don't know how poisonous them little spiders are. Now, the big banana spiders are the ones that scare the hell out of me because they're so huge. But uh, I think I think those little spiders are actually worse if they bite you than the big spiders, you know. It's kind of like that brown recluse. I mean, you know, that is, uh, I think you know, the brown recluse is actually a small spider. And, the, of course, the black widow, that's a small spider. Uh, so, you know, they're all, they're all back here. Uh, but uh, anyway... Uh, no snakes yet today. That is one thing in a swamp that uh, you, you will encounter. And uh, believe it or not, I, I've been back here many times. I have never seen an alligator, you know, which is kind of strange. You would think they'd be all back in here, you know, and, uh, at least you'd see one crossing the trail or laying out and sunning himself or, you know, with his mouth open asleep or something, you know, but nope, never, never seen one. Okay, well, that's it for the the uh, virgin territory adventure down the service road i've always been curious as to where that went 
By the way, I wanted to tell you about the weather. Oh my God, this is Florida. I, I, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's like perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. I, you know, nice and cool. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm hiking at about, you know, a couple miles an hour. So yeah, I'm, I'm breaking a little bit of a sweat, but I mean, it's nice and cool. I mean, if you, you know, this is the time of year that you want to be out hiking in Florida for sure. And uh, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying the day here. I'm glad that I got out. Uh, I did, didn't want to just hit on a couple other things real quick uh, before we get to that second bridge and we make another clip. Was, uh, you know, one of the things that I do, and I hope that you do too, is uh, I'm, 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 I'm absolutely crazy about recycling. And uh, so uh, yesterday I took the, uh, I keep, I have a can crusher in my garage. And so I, I, what I do is I take those cans and I crush them until I get a bag full. And then I run the cans over to a, a recycling place uh, and they, you know, they pay me a little bit of money. I think I got $5.50 for the cans, you know. Um, but I know that you know, that way, for sure, they're going to get recycled properly. Whereas if you take them to the uh, Marion County uh, recycle facilities and just dump them in, because what they do is put these, uh, these, these huge uh, crushers, is they put the cardboard and the, the aluminum and uh, the plastic all together and they just crush it in there. And I imagine the process for dividing all that stuff up is probably not too efficient because it is government that we're talking about here. So that, you know, so that's why I, I do what I do. So what did I do today? You know, I, uh, I always keep um, my styrofoam, you know, so because, you know, when you go out to eat, a lot of times you know, they'll put it in that, that styrofoam uh, stuff and even the styrofoam cups, you know, you got the styrofoam coffee cups and stuff like that. I mean, you know, you're thinking, gosh, dang, man, Kurt, <laughs> or that cybersecurity security guy, that's a whole lot of trouble. But you know what? You just pile it all up. And uh, and so Publix uh, here in Florida, they have these um, recycle trash cans. I, I can't call them bins. And, you know, one is for the styrofoam and the other is for plastic. And I'm, I think that means plastic bags because that's what I see people stuffing in there. Because, you know, Publix, uh, you know, here in Florida, one of the problems that we've got uh, and I, I swear I hate to I hate to tell to anything to California but you know we should ban all them damn plastic bags if you can't if you're too damn lazy to bring your own stupid bag to the doggone uh, store you know that, that you know is reusable you know what's the point so uh, but I do eventually accumulate um, uh, plastic bags uh, like uh, for example I when I got to the recycle place normally I dump my cans myself, and uh, and that, and then I reuse. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, doesn't? It? I reuse the plastic bag, uh, just because one, I'm a cheap son of a gun, and number two, you know why not? I mean, if the bag's not torn or anything, well, like, unfortunately, the guy there, he he got to the bags before I could I could dump them myself, and you know he just ripped them all apart and you know poured everything into the the uh, the bin, and I said, wait a minute, I, you know. I'll, I want those bags back, man. And he, you know, he just looked at me like I was crazy, uh, which I am, of course. But uh, you know, I said. So anyway, you know, that's. Uh, I mean, these are simple things that you know you can do. I, I had to go to Walmart anyway today, and Publix is on my way. So what did what did it cost me to stop by Publix and do some recycling? You know, and give them the plastic bags and recycle the foam. You know, so be it. Well, let's uh, let's get onto that second bridge and see what it looks like. Uh, that's it for the Virgin Territory on the service road. Uh, once again, nobody here but me. All right. So I'm on my way to the uh, second bridge. And uh, one of the things that I love about this Marshall Swamp Trail is you see how they cut it in? You know, you never know what's coming up on, on the next bend. And by the way, the trail's in fantastic shape. Oh, here it is. Wow. Like, and amazing that I cut the video on just as I'm approaching the the second bridge. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, we'll get up on here. So this is, uh, well, you can see that piece right there is off of it somehow. Uh, and so I'm just looking down, make sure I'm not stepping through. Yeah, this is the swamp. You, I mean, that's, so you're hiking. I mean, oh, here, yeah, up here. This is what I was talking about. You know, I was wondering if they had fixed any of this. Uh, and they have not, um, but it's, uh, it's still hikeable. 
Um, if you're a mountain biker, I haven't uh, encountered any obstacles up to this point on the trail that would stop you from mountain biking the trail. Now, me, because I'm a scaredy cat, <laughs> I'd probably walk my mountain bike through here, you know, because uh, you wouldn't want to go off the side there. And they, see what I'm talking about. I mean, I, there's no gators in there. I mean, at least none that I've seen. I mean, I know they hide themselves pretty well because they're predators, you know. But uh, I just, I'm always shocked that I get back here. Because I've been back here in the summertime. There is something. Well, that's just a bird. I can see him off in the distance there. You know. Huh. Well, let's go on a little ways further. I, I'm, the daylight's getting away from me, doggone it. I, I, uh, by the time I went to Walmart and... Went to Publix and you know recycled everything. That uh, I knew that I, I knew I had to come here. And I said, "Well, see what here? You this would be a trip factor." Boy, that's a piece of wire that's come up, and you can see the holes in the uh, in the uh, bridge here. I mean, they need to. Boy, this is uh, this is really rotten. Woo. Uh, but uh, yeah, they they definitely need to. Uh, at least the, the trail's in fantastic shape, um, but the bridges, you know, they're. They do need to do some repair work, um, but from this point on, it's uh, more of the same. This is this was my big concern. Also, was in the um, in the uh, summer or in the rainy season. You know, this gets really muddy, and uh, it's a muddy mess. And so you wouldn't want to be back here until you've had a lot of dry weather. Uh, but it is really, really cool trail. You see how it just winds around, and uh, man, you are you know you feel like you you're back in the <laughs> <laughs> you're back in it for sure you know it's uh it's really cool all right so let's uh maybe i'll make it to the third there's another bridge coming up eventually um but i i don't have I sh you know one of these days i gotta remember to put a damn watch on my arm uh you know because when i the phone i can always check the time but not with the gopro and i'm using the gopro today so um who knows what time it is and you know, that is one thing you would not want. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be back here in the dark. Uh, I don't even have a headlamp, you know, because I just was going to hike to that first bridge and just see what it looked like. But uh, you know how it is, man. You get into the hike and you think, you know what? Just a little further. Just a little further. All right. Peace out. Oh, I, you know, I don't think that clip took. I was showing you this could be a muddy mess if you if it was a rainy season okay because I'm, I'm looking my eyes are i'm half blind you know let's see see when it's actually recording i don't know yeah. but uh we're just uh moving along so the, but uh, the trail uh definitely definitely in definitely want to hike it if for sure if you're if you live in the area here in central florida well anyway you know i'm a complete amateur when it comes to making these videos and uh Seems like no matter what I do, I'm always hitting hurdles. And um, anyway, so I was out. Uh, this is this was one year ago today when the channel was just kicking off. And this was me hiking uh, Marsh Ridge <laughs> in the summertime. Oh my God, I had heat rash so bad it was uh, I, I suffered for a week. My wife, uh, this was before we were going through the divorce. She she says you're a complete idiot, and yeah, she's right for sure. Um, but uh, so today, you know, I'm out making a video because I wanted to go back to the uh, Marshall Swamp uh, Trail and just see what it looked like. Uh, I knew the bridges were in disrepair and uh, I wanted to see if it was hikeable. And, and it was, I mean, and, and so I was making a great video and then boom, the damn GoPro, the battery goes dead. And, uh, and for some reason it went into photography mode. I'm trying to make a video. And, uh, and, and so I had to take it apart and put it back together and, and it won't even cut on at this point, you know. So what I wanted to show you is, uh, you know, one of the things I am going to look into, it would be nice if you could attach a battery to the selfie stick somehow. And I probably could with this rubber band, you know, but, you know, you'd always suffer the problem that it could fall and you could tape it on here. But that would be a great product is to have, you know, on your selfie stick where you could put the extra batteries. Because, you know, one of the things the GoPro came with, which was really great, was this little uh, kit. And, um, you know, of course, you got the, the uh, well, I bought, I'm not sure if I bought this extra, if it came with the kit. But this is a little charger. So, of course, I'm going to put the battery on the charger. And then I bought, uh, I bought some extra batteries, you know, like right here. This is another battery. And I've already got them all charged up. Um, 
so what I'm thinking, you know, and of course, you know, I keep a little screwdriver down in here, you know, whatever. I mean, it's it's kind of weird, you know, as, as you go through life and see here, I've got uh, some some electrical tape on here so that if I have to get the card out of the uh, GoPro, I don't damage it in some fashion. Um, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that for just one second. So let's let's finish up the Marshall Swamp video because I didn't get to do it with the GoPro. Daggone it. Pissed me off. Uh, I'd never made it quite to the third bridge, so I don't know if it's still intact. I, I imagine it is. Um, all the trees are cut out of the uh, the path, so if you want to ride a mountain bike there, you can. Um, we've got some upcoming hikes. Uh, I'll put them in the uh, comments below because uh, I, you know I do read all my comments. And uh, there was a guy I met, uh, George, I think was his name, and uh, he left me a comment because he says there's two great hikes that I need to do. And make videos about and I'm gonna put those in the comments below so we're gonna be heading back to the with trail and then of course I'm gonna do these two great hikes that he referred to he says they're off of 19 somewhere you know uh, going north uh, we haven't been going north we've been going mostly uh, west so uh, it'll be it'll be nice to get back north and then of course when I see my uh, my uh, yard crew I will see if I can get because he had offered me uh, something so that I could cut my way from uh, 314 up to 40 on the uh, Florida Trail so we could knock that portion out. Um, so, you know, you can see we're getting out, but, uh, you know, it's it's always a challenge. You know, every daggone time I'm, I'm making a video, I mean, you know, this is a whole day lost probably um, if this doesn't work out. And, you know, I just, I, I kind of thought, I, I you know, because I do watch, you know, other YouTubers and it's, it is pretty cool to be able to put you know some video up and this is my video you know the, the previous video did have copyright problems uh so i wasn't trying to to, to be uh crazy and and then of course today you know all about january the 6th and um i mean i hope you people know that trump offered the um, uh capitol police and then nancy pelosi the national guard because you knew there was going to be a big crowd there and it, i swear it looks like at this point a lot of the agitators were fbi um but, you know, because they're not getting arrested. You, you got 700 people in jail right now. And, and, and the worst people that, that were caught on video, because uh, uh, they've, they've had to release some of the video, they're not in jail. Well, why? These were the people saying, let's go into the Capitol. Let's go into the Capitol. I mean, of course, you know, none of them damn people were armed. You know, I mean, it's the most stupid thing. Kamala Harris came out and said she compared that to Pearl Harbor or 9-11. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bunch of people walked through the Capitol building. Uh, and then, there, you know, there, there's the other thing that, that I saw today is uh, there, there was evidently a lot of pipes and stuff staged all around the area. Now, who did that? Where are those people? Where are those charges? You know, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the, the agitators getting, uh, um, I guess, thrown in jail. The, the people that I'm seeing are the innocent people for the most part that just were stupid enough to walk into the Capitol building, you know, and, and, uh, and, and, and people were outside going, fed, 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 when the agitators were trying to get people to do stupid stuff. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go and see what, what I got on the GoPro, and uh, somehow I've got to carry these extra batteries because I don't understand it. I mean, I'm, I'm chewing through batteries in a, in a brief period of time, and uh, maybe that's just the way the GoPro goes, you know, and um, I, because, you know, it had a full charge and I just, I keep it with me in the car. You guys, peace out. Stay free. Let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh, freedom. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no mask requirements, no lockdowns, and we are free to come and do as we please. And if you're a Democrat and you want your voter laws with no ID, you want your, you want an open border with immigrants pouring across. You want uh, uh, all of the things that just don't make no sense to me. Uh, you go to California, go to New York, go to Illinois, maybe Minnesota. You know, but stay the hell out of Florida. Peace out.